Hey guys, it's Simply Imaginary People Frankie, and this is just a short tutorial on drop shadows. So I create my drop shadows mainly in Blender. So say I made this chair, which I did. Um, I'm going to create a plane. So just say create a plane. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down to floor level, which is this red line. And there we go. If I press 7 on my numpad, I look at it from the top. I'm just going to try and relatively center it. And then I'm going to go to edit mode, and I'm just going to say U unwrap. And it'll unwrap it as a square, which it should be. And now I'm just going to turn off sync mode. And say image, open image. And I'm going to open the shadow map that is in TSRW which I'll upload for you guys too, so you don't have to export it. I'm going to edit, go to texture mode. Now you can see it has all the textures. So what I'm going to do is on my um, UV here, I am just going to scale it down, and I'm going to pick this light square as a shadow I've decided. So I'll move it over to the light square, and you can see as I move it, it moves the shadow as well. So now that my shadow is kind of in the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a bit, well actually, I'm going to scale it so that it fits on my UV pretty much perfectly squarely over the shadow. And then here I'm just going to scale it so that it fits under my chair. Let's check it out. I can move it how I want it. It's better to make it a bit smaller because it will look bigger in TSRW and in game. So I try to not be able to see much shadow around it. Let's check under that I get it slightly in the middle. Right. Perfect. There we go. So that's the square shadow I have under here. And then I'm just going to make another plane and do the same thing. If I press 1 on my numpad, it will face it from the front. So again, I'll just try and center it a bit. And I'll go to edit mode and I'll unwrap it again. And I'm going to scale it now and I want it on a light circle here. Actually, no, I think I want a darker circle because I'm putting it where the more small circle. You can pick which one you want. So let's say I'll take this one. Let's make it so that it's over here. I'm just going to hide my first plane so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm just going to scale it so that it fits under my feet. And again, I'm going to make it so that it's pretty much nearly invisible. Sometimes I have to go back to Blender once I've done it in TSRW, uh, seen it in TSRW. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate it. I'm just going to drag it onto this one. I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate it and I'm going to drag it onto this one. And a bit to the side, so it's centered. Shift D drag under this foot. Turn on the other one. I'm just going to select all of these, the little square ones, and just move them up a bit so that they're on top of the other shadow. And now I can combine these groups, so I'm just going to select this group, shift, right click, and select this group, and say join, so that they're one group. Now if I want to, I can go into a Cycles Render, you can see my chair already has a texture. Click on my shadow group, go to this materials tab, say plus, new, select image, and open the same image. And then go to rendered. And you can kind of see how the shadows will look around it. So I can see that the shadow of the chair is still a bit too big. You can see it's like dark around the edges, so at least I know 
I need to scale that down a bit more. And things like that, you'll just be able to kind of see what you still need to figure out. Okay, so that's just the basics. Obviously, what you then need to do is export your shadow group and your mesh group. So, export to wavefront objects. Make sure you select objects as object groups so that, and selection only if you've got more than one group um, in your blender. And then just export as dot object, and then obviously you'll need to check the object you're importing over in TSRW if the shadow is group zero or group one or group two, and continue on like you would with um, with objects. So export into milkshake, assign bones, make it a dot wuzzo, and import it, and all the rest. If you have an object that has a bit more of a unique shape, so say my toys, you can see. I started the same, I started with a plane, and my plane was square, and I put it over this dot, and then literally all I did is, you can see, um, I literally just moved the shadow and scaled it so that it's thinner at the top, because it's thinner near the head, and wider at the bottom, so that it kind of has this top more of a this type of shape, so like an oblong. So you can literally, what I usually do is I leave the, um, the UV map here square or rectangular so I could scale this and make this thinner as well if I wanted to. So I could go here and oops, say scale X and scale that thinner, that will make it wider here or scale Y. So literally just fiddle around with the scaling here and with moving the edges around here. So here you can see I'm here's the shadow, I'm dragging it out. Now I can just drag it in till it's under the body. Do the same with this side. And it'll have to test in TSRW again how it looks. But that's pretty much just how you make shadows, just by using this picture and moving birds.